Hi, this is Gary Pallas and welcome to the V1 Pro app. In this section, we're going to cover how to do an introduction or a drill. So the first thing you want to do, since you want to capture audio, I'm going to do an introduction. Go to your camera icon, get your video camera forward or backward. I'm going to use the face on view. When you're ready, hit video and hit start. When you're done, hit stop. This goes to your camera roll. We're done doing the intro. So I'm going to leave the camera and now I'm going to go to the V1 Pro app. We're going to sign in as we did before with your email and password. Now you're going to go to the library on the bottom. Okay. And you're going to go to the plus key on the top right. From here we want to import that content. The reason we do it in our camera roll versus V1 is because we want the audio. If we did it in V1, it thinks we're going to capture a golf swing. So go to import content. It's going to take us to the camera roll. And I'm going to go to videos. And right at the bottom, there's the one I just did. It's about 10 seconds, which is good. Select it and pick use. So all it's doing now is it's taking that video and putting it into V1 and it tells you where it is. It's in the out box in sync when you're ready to upload. Hit OK. Notice here on the bottom now I brought it into V1 so I'm going to select the inbox. It has three options. Inbox, outbox, and sent. In the outbox, there it is. It's the video I just did. Very important what I want to do here is change the description. Otherwise, if you have more than one introduction or drill, everything's going to say imported content. So right here, I want to change that on the bottom left and say, in this case, I'm going to say intro for V1 lesson. I do this for myself so I know where to go. Keep in mind these will be alphabetical so that you can think about if you have a series of drills you might want to start with A, B, C, so on and so forth. Once I'm ready I'll go back to the inbox right here on the top left. Select this right here and on the top right hit the refresh and what it's doing now, it's actually sending that up to the cloud and then back into my locker so I can use that drill because that intro is associated to Gary Palace. What does that mean? It means that any V1 I use, if I'm using the desktop computer, guess what? I have access to that drill. So the next time I do a lesson and I pick a student and I do a lesson for that student, and I'll go ahead and start that just to show you. Start lesson. I'm going to end the lesson. And there's the lesson right there. To access that drill, when I'm done, there's a plus key. And guess what? That was called intro. So I'm going to slide down. I've got quite a few drills, so it's very important that I did change the description. So I'm just sliding down. And notice all the imported content. Bad thing right there. Intro for V1 lesson. There it is. Hit done. And it just added that. And I'm going to select it and move it up in the batting order to the top. Good to go. I've done everything. I've recorded the lesson in the camera roll, brought it into V1, done a lesson, and attached it for the student. When you're done, hit send now and you're good to go. That's how simple it is to create an intro and a drill using the V1 Pro app. This is Gary Palace. Have a good day.